Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Let's Play with Nevs. This time we're going to be playing a user-submitted game. Somebody recommended this to me in the comments section of a previous video, and this game is called Shadow Hearts. I'm just going to preface this by saying if you don't like commentary, be sure to check out the description box below uh, to find a no-commentary version of the same playthrough. So what is Shadow Hearts? Shadow Hearts was a game for the PlayStation 2, produced in 2001. Uh, it kind of flew under the radar, but fans of the game really seem to enjoy it. I've played probably a couple of hours into the game, and what I've seen so far is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, this game, I guess the best way you could describe it would be the love child between uh, Final Fantasy VIII and Devil May Cry. I guess the main character and the themes very much remind me of Devil May Cry, though the gameplay is very much Final Fantasy VIII. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Oh, I'm also playing this via emulation, so I'm actually running this game at four times its native resolution, so this playthrough should look way better than all the other ones that I've seen on YouTube, um, though there may be some graphical glitches and sputters here and there, but in my opinion, and hopefully in yours, the trade-off will be worth it. This game will be looking fantastic. Here we go. Enjoy. All right, we're in France, 1913. Ugh. A traveling priest, brutally murdered before sunrise. His body lay scattered in pieces, as if savaged by a beast. His daughter, believed to have been traveling with him, is missing. I will let you know ahead of time the voice acting is not very good. South Manchu, autumn that same year. It's already past 2300, and it's still a long way to Fengtian. Major Tsuji, what is this about? Why the special train in the middle of the night to escort this girl to Japan? She looks pretty ordinary to me. Hell if I know. There's no telling what the big shots in Tokyo are thinking. <laughs> Next time I see you know who, I'll ask her, okay? Uh -uh. 
All right, guys, that was our opening cutscene. Are you intrigued yet? I sure am. So a couple of things. I really like that this game is grounded in real-world events. I think that's pretty darn cool, actually. Sorry about that, guys. I had to make a small adjustment to my recording setup here. Uh, this game has some issues running via emulation, especially when you're running it at a higher internal resolution. It's a pretty intensive game for my system to play, surprisingly. Um, so you might notice one of our first graphical glitches over there. We've got that boxy area around our shadow. Uh, you'll see some things like that here and there, but you know, don't mind it too much because I think the visual trade-off is well worth it. So one of the things I really like about this is the fact that it's kind of grounded in modern day, I guess you could say. Oh, first fight. But yeah, this is not based in some fantasy world. Like Final Fantasy is. It's actually based in, on Earth. And during a particular period of history. So you might have noticed that wheel that uh, I had to mess with here during the attack. That is called the Judgment Wheel, and we'll be dealing with that quite a bit, but it kind of affects the attacks that we do as we go. So you can hit it in the yellow area to get a good. If you hit it under red, you get a nice, and you actually do more damage or have enhanced effects that way. All right. Let's keep it going. You've received their relief. Awesome. Whoops. Wait, there was something else there. Got a mana leaf. What's going on over here? Hmm. Up there? He's escaping! You're a persistent little rat, aren't you? You ain't getting away, Pops. I love that our villain's name is Bacon. I don't know why that makes me happier than it should. All right, Bacon, let's see what you're made of. <laughs> kind of a dumb question. Oh yeah! Let's punch him in the gonads! Take that, Mr. Bacon! Kabla! Foot of Fury! It's funny that the attacks also still have the Japanese voice acting. Sounds quite a bit different from the cutscenes. And yeah, we're not actually supposed to win that fight, so that's okay. You're stronger than I expected. Now, foul monster, you shall cease to be. Huh? What? What on earth? What? Well, that was our introduction, folks.
Shadow Hearts. Hope you enjoyed it so far. I'm definitely intrigued. Let's keep going. Alright, so with the world map, pressing the, eh, the square button during the sub map or world map will open the menu. You can save your game from the menu screen. Let's go ahead and open the menu screen then and snag a save. I'm just gonna overwrite my previous save. Alright, guys, so the first place we're gonna go is the plains. Here we go. It's another thing I like is the game is sectioned off into various maps. So I don't just have this giant expansive world that I have to run around and figure out. I just have one little niche area to figure out. Yo there. Finally coming too, huh? If you're looking for the train, it's long gone. <laughs> Pretty exciting, huh? Getting a tingly feeling? Right about there? Whoa. I see why they call you Rude Hero. N no. Stay away. Stay away? I haven't even done anything yet. I don't think that's how that works, Rude Hero. S stay back. Please. I, I can't... No, I, I, I can't do anything. I... Huh? Uh, where do you think you're going? I'm telling you, it's not safe that way. Oh, give me a break. Hey, girly, don't run off like that. Dark and light reunite, Ed. <laughs> it's actually a, a voice actually talking. Interesting. I didn't realize the first time that was voice acted, so I don't need to read those parts. Ugh, that hurts. Not that damn voice again. Stupid voices. Okay, I got it. I'm supposed to protect her, right? Yes, you're supposed to protect her. All right, so let's go and find her. We lost her. Yeek! I'm coming! <laughs> huh? Hey, what are you doing? Wake up. Were you attacked or something? I told you it was dangerous, didn't I? Looks like I'm the one who's getting all tingly inside. Maybe I should make a move. <laughs> God, you're such a creeper. Um, hello? Wonder if she'd mind if I... Probably. She would probably bind. Jeez. Hey, girl. Don't just lie there like a dead fish. Get up. I bust my hump saving you. Then you take one look at me and run off. Then you faint. You got no manners, you know that? Uh, I think you got it backwards, Mr. Rude Hero. Uh, a monster just suddenly... Yeah. There's lots of hungry wolves and blood-sucking bats around here. You're probably attracting them. You smell pretty good, you know. Anyway, don't run off like that, okay? Because if I don't do like the voice says, my head's going to split open. Huh? Don't huh me. Someone or something is pretty damn insistent that I protect you. Protect me? That's right. It's always, go protect that person, or go to that town. 
stupid voice jumps into my head all the time. And now it's ordering me to protect you. Anyway, at least I'm never bored. Wherever it tells me to go, there are always plenty of monsters. So that's why you were on the train. Yep. But thanks to that voice, I'm changing from your ordinary bad boy type into a real psycho. What about you? Hey, are you psycho too? You see weird things? Maybe. Well, you don't seem quite like me, but whatever. We can't just chat all day. First, we've got to find a place to rest, and I'm getting hungry. Whoa, almost forgot. My name's... Alright, it's one of those games we can name our characters. I'm going to stick with the default names, however. Give you guys the authentic experience. So, Yuri. Yuri. You can call me Yuri. Yuri. I'm... Alice. Alice Elliot. Please, call me Alice. <laughs> Alice, huh? Even your name's cute. God damn it. Come on, Yuri. Lay off the creeper. Okay, I got it. I won't touch you. Right, we're off. Off to a swift start. Our second, our first battle with uh, Alice in the party. We're gonna play punch out again here. So Alice is kind of the designated white magic healer. You guys know, if you're familiar with RPGs, you know a little more about that. All right, I got a nice. That just means that final hit, we're gonna do a little more damage. Though she doesn't do a whole lot of physical damage, she's a little more attuned with healing. Yuri's gonna be more of our strong man. He's also got a special ability I haven't shown you guys yet. I'm waiting for an opportune time to do so. Right now, there's really no reason to use it. Success! No level ups, though. That's okay. We'll get there. In due time. What do we have here? Nobody's gonna be crossing this. Well, we gotta fix it! Soon! Let's get over here. dead end. Um, maybe if we do something with this sluice gate, we'll be able to cross the river. Huh? Ah, of course. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Uh, anyway, let's have a little search then. Let's have a look around, shall we? There's a treasure chest over there I don't think we can get to yet, but I believe if we go over here, we can mess with this guy. The sluice gate. It looks like it'd work if I had a handle. Okay, so we need to find the handle. Got some bats to contend with. Smack you with this book. Here's the holy hand grenade. Punch out. 
punching a freaking wolf to death. That's how it's done. Awesome. Leveled up. Always a good sight to see. So I believe there's a save point down here. Yes. Oops. Not actually standing on it, am I? Okay, so I'd like to continue without loading. Snagging a save. All right. 